and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Marisa Glam. And in today's video, guys, I am going to be doing a look. So as you guys can tell, I already did my uh, face already and I kind of did my eyebrow. I did everything already except my eyes because I wanted to save that for the video. And I was actually requested by a few girls on my Instagram and even here on YouTube to do more looks and be a little bit more dramatic and show you guys, you know, more looks as far as like eyeshadows and things like that. I used to be heavy and big on eyeshadow looks and I just, I don't know, I just slowly stopped and just stick to like my neutrals and stuff when I was always playing with color. So anyways, in today's video, that's what I'm going to do. So if you guys are interested in this type of video, then please continue watching. Okay, so the palette that I am going to be playing with today is my favorite palette. Honestly, guys, like I said, I don't really do a whole lot of colors. And when I do, these are like my go-to palettes. So I have this palette here from BH Cosmetic. I do, I've done so many looks with this palette. I think I've used it before on like a rainbow look that I did here on my channel. But this one, and I love the Jaclyn Hill palette. You guys already know that like I love this palette so much. What I, what I love about this palette so much is that all of these right here are very like brownish colors so it's really good to use when you're transitioning to color so that's what I'm gonna use today I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because it's been a while since there's a look that I have on Instagram and I've actually had some girls ask me like to recreate this a long time ago guys like I'm talking last year when I started my YouTube channel I had some girls who follow me from my Instagram now here on YouTube who have asked me to do more looks and to recreate that one but I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what I used. Like I remember I used the BH Cosmetic palette, but I kind of just freehanded that look, honestly. So I'll answer it over here or over here, the picture that I'm talking about. Um, it'll probably be my thumbnail too, so. But let's go ahead and get started with that one. But what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of bronze, like a bronze color, and use that to do like a transition shade. So I am just gonna pick up this one right here and this color here with a little bit of that one, just a little bit. And I'm just going to apply. So I'm gonna work on one eye and then move on to the other eye so this video is not hella long. And mind the eyebrows, guys. Like, I have like, um, I have little hairs sticking out because I need to go get my eyebrows like threaded. So what I'm doing is I'm just like using a more skin tone color to transition the color into my eye just like that it's it doesn't even look like I have anything on I knew but I I do I do have some on so in this palette I think what I'm going to do is pick up this color right here and then just like slowly tap it off and I'm just gonna slowly add it into my crease just very slowly And I'm gonna pick up the same shade again and then just go in a little bit more. I feel like the key to eyeshadow sometimes is just like a lot of back and forth, a lot of blending. I get, I remember when I first started with eyeshadow, like I used to be, I was somewhat good with it, but I just remember blending was just the key. So I'm just packing on the same shade and I'm going back and forth and normally when I do dramatic like makeup looks I don't ever really have my whole face on yet like I take I do that part last but I wanted to make this video just a little bit more faster so I decided to do it this way okay and I'm also going to pick up um and I have the other Brazil palette I have this one it's more like on the shimmery the shimmery colors and I'm gonna use a flat brush don't know which flat brush I'm gonna use this flat brush right here and pick up probably the shade purple over here this like real purpley shade and I'm going to mix it with this one I actually like I think I'm just gonna mix all of them to be very honest and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna pack that on the inner corner That flat brush isn't really doing it for me. So I'm gonna pick up this brush right here. And this one's a Morphe one. And I'm just gonna pick up more and just kind of add it right here, yeah. Okay, 
and I'm just kind of dragging the purple out just a little bit. I love purple, to be very honest with you guys. So when I have to use purple, I get really excited. I am going to go back in with the same palette, and I am going to pick up a more blue color right here. I love this palette, but there is a lot of like fallout, but I just can't put it away. Like I love it because even though it has a lot of fallout, I still feel like I get that real, real good. It's like very pigmented is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I am using this like blue color and I'm going right on top of the purple. And this is the reason why I like to do my eyeshadow when I'm doing looks like this last, just because of the fallout. So bear with me as I'm going really slowly. There's just something about that blue and that uh, purple that just kind of goes really well together. And I'm just dragging it also into, cause I'm trying to make it like transition in with the corner of my eye, so I'm kind of like dragging it over here, but keeping it more in the corner, the inner corner of my eye. All right, so I am gonna pick up a more smaller, dense brush than the first one that I was using. This one, they're just a little bit more different than each other, but this one's more smaller, and I am gonna go back in to this palette, and I'm gonna pick up this shade here and use that more in the crease of my eye. And I'm just kind of blending it together and don't be scared of it at first like don't be like oh my god it's not coming out um, color is really fun to play with you just have to really like take your time and I'm going back in with a bigger brush and I'm just kind of bringing it more out it's all about the brush to be very honest so that eye is not done yet we still got a long way to go so what I'm gonna do now and I just grabbed more of that blue, I'm sorry. I just keep going and I forget that I'm recording, but I picked up more of that blue and I'm just packing that blue again, more defined in my inner corner. And if you get fallout, guys, like let's say you do your foundation first, which I don't think you should, but especially for dramatic looks, make sure that when you're blending it away, you wanna make sure that you're not pressing the product into your skin. You kind of just lightly wiping it away. So. I'm just lightly wiping it away. Like I'm not even putting pressure. I'm just lightly wiping it away because I did the mistake in the past of completely pushing it into my eye, like my skin, and then it just smears. So that eye is not done, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, blend this a little bit up here. All right, and it's not done yet. Okay, we're not done. What I'm gonna do really quick is work on this eye and then I will be right back to show you guys what it is that I would do next. Okay, I am back. Okay, so I went ahead and did this eye off camera and then I also did my liner and my lashes because I mean, that's gonna take more time to show you guys. So I wanted to just show you guys that I put these lashes on. These ones are, I did a little review on these this lash brand, but I will link it in the description box below if you're interested. But this one is in the style the Slayer. Um, yeah, but these ones are in the style The Slayer, so if you guys are interested, I will leave the video in the description box below, and also, if you guys do order from this website, I will leave the website below as well, and you do get a 10% discount if you use discount code Marisa10, and I'll make sure to put that somewhere around the video. But yeah, so like I said, I already did that, so we're just gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes really quick. I am going to go ahead and go back in with the same color, this one here, and I'm just going to put that right in the, right below my under eye, and let's go ahead and do that first before I show you guys what I do after. So I am going to pick up a more defined brush. So I'm going to pick up this brush right here. It's more like a round, stiffly brush. I like these type of brushes, especially for under the eye. So I'm going to just pick up some of that, dust the excess off, and then I am just going to go right under the eye. Oh, this brush is good. I like that it like, it packs on so much product. All right, so I applied that one and now I'm going to do the other eye. So I am going to pick up this purple glide liner from, I believe this is LA Girl. Yeah, LA Girl. 
Um, I really like these glide liners. I always use these when I'm doing like a color, like I want a pop of color. So I'm gonna just put this on my waterline. Okay, so there's the pop of that color. It's really hard to like remember exactly everything that I used on that look because it's been so long guys, like it's been so long. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara in my lower lashes. All right, and for highlighter, I obviously I'm not gonna remember what highlighter I used in that picture, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use my favorite Wet n Wild one right now. Um, I think I used the Nicole Guerrero palette because that was that's still my ride or die palette. I just happen to have this one right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. But I'm gonna apply just a little bit here because in that picture I do remember putting quite a bit of highlighter. Because I used to be a highlighter queen. I used to use it so much, guys. I'm not even kidding. I used to use it and just go ham with it. I literally love this brush so much. It's, I got this for $4, guys, on Amazon. And it's like a dupe for the Anastasia one, which is the Anastasia one's like freaking like almost $30 for one little brush. And I feel like it, this just does so good. And I've seen a lot of people talk about it and say it's a dupe, so dollars guys I will link my Amazon shop in the description box if you guys are interested we're missing lips how can I forget lips so let's go ahead and do that no we're missing a whole lot hold on so I am gonna put highlighter how the F am I gonna forget this you guys know I'm an inner corner whore I have to put freaking highlighter in my inner corners it's just it's not a, it's not me if I don't I don't know why I like that so much but I just feel like it just makes my eyes look they're already big, but it makes them just look more popped out. Do I want that though? I don't know. Put some up here. Let's go ahead and do the lips. So I am going to go in. In that picture, it looks like I used a very nudish lip gloss and a lipstick, which is no surprise. But I'm just going to try to create something close to it, even though I don't know what products I used. And this is MAC in Strip Down. And I'm gonna go in with this Rimmel. It's completely old and probably expired. I'm just kidding, I don't know, maybe it is. Um, but I think I purchased this last year and I've used it. It's like a nude color. Guys, I, I'm serious right now, I can't even see the shade. Sorry guys, but I'm gonna use this. It's a nude color. Any nude lipstick will be fine. Mm, okay, now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal. L'Oreal. I'm gonna go in with my Milani gloss and luster light I love this lip gloss so much I feel like this is similar to the look I think, uh -huh, uh -huh, I think. Phew. and I'm pretty sure when I did create that look I didn't use this one I think I used my Mac fix, fix plus spray but I don't have any of that anymore I haven't made it to the mall and I'm not gonna order that. I'm gonna go to the mall and pick it up. I just keep saying I'm gonna go to the mall and I just don't go to the mall. But I wanna spray my Maybelline um, Lasting Fix Spray. And I just go over it with a beauty blender or any type of sponge you have. This is my e.l.f. one, but I just like to set that spray into the skin. I think this is it, this is it. And this is it all right guys so this is the finish look right here I think I nailed it I think I got it exactly to how that picture looks if I didn't then I'm sorry but it's been a long time since I recreated that look so I really had to like analyze that picture a little bit but this is what I did to create this look right here I love it um, it's like a little purple pink the waterline kind of has like some blue in it so it kind of stands out a little bit this is what it looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want me to do more looks and you guys have like certain palettes that you guys want me to play with so I can like create looks with them please let me know I will be more than happy to do those type of videos for you guys I just really honestly thought that Nobody really wanted to see that on this channel, but some do. So I will do it for the ones that do want to see these videos, okay? <laughs> but yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so every time I upload a video, you guys are notified. And yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.